Hello students, welcome back to Ingenious Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hebler, Chapter 1. The problem says that if the turn buckle is subjected to an axial force of 900 pounds, determine the average normal stress developed in section AA and in each of the bolt shanks at B and C. Each bolt shank has a diameter of 0.5 inches. So what we are supposed to find is that we need to find the normal force and on the cross section through this AA section. And we have to find the normal force in, in the shank of this bolt. So the shank is the part on which we have the threads. So as you guys can see that um, same P force of 900 pound force is applied on both sides. So this means that the normal force in the shank of both the bolts, bolts will remain the same. So we need to solve for only one bolt. So first of all, we have to find the average normal stress developed in the section A. So what we need to do is that we need to pass a cutting section uh, through AA and then we have to consider the cross section and we have to consider the, the normal force and stresses. So what I will do is that um, I will pass a cutting section and we will consider the exposed area for finding the normal force and in, in the average normal stress. So this will be our diagram and here we will have normal force. Let's say we have normal force and AA. This is our NAA, the internal normal force on the cross section. And similarly, we will have NAA here as well. So now to find NAA, we can simply apply the sum of the forces in the X. So the sum of the forces in the X must be equals to zero. Towards the right is our positive X direction. So we have two NA forces, uh, NAA normal forces in the positive X direction. So we will have two times an AA and we have P force in the negative Y direction. So we will write minus P. So P is basically given this P force is equal to this is given that this P force is equal to 900 pounds, right? So this is 900 pounds. So 2 and AA minus 900, this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that an AA is equal to 900 divided by 2 which is equal to 450 pounds. Now we have to find the stress developed in the section which is exposed here. So we will have the cross section here, right? So we want to find the stress in this particular area. So let me show that area. We have the cross sectional area here and we want to find the average normal stress in this cross section. While the thickness, this thickness of the cross section is 0 0.25 inches and this is equal to one inch. So we can say that then the stress will be the stress in section AA will be equal to the force which is an A, the normal force divided by the area or we can say the area of AA section where we have passed the cutting section. So an AA is 450 pounds and the area is one time area is 1 times 0 0.25 so you will say 1 time 0 0.25 inches so this is the average normal stress developed in section AA is we can say this is 450 divided by 1 times 0 0.25 so this gives us 1800 so this is 1 times 0 0.25 is we can say this is in square so we can say that sigma AA is 450 divided by this is 1800 uh, pound per in square which is also we can say 800 PSI or similarly we can say that the average stress normal stress is 1.8 KSI. Similarly, we are asked to find the uh, average normal stress in the shank of the bolts at B and C. So what we will do is that again we will consider, we will pass a cutting section. So I will pass a cutting section through the shank part of the bolt somewhere here. So now we will have, let's say the normal force 
on the bolt at B, let's say. So again, we, we if we apply the sum of the forces in the X, that must be equal to zero. Again, this P force is, we can say this is 900 pounds. So we can say that plus and B towards the right is our positive X. So we can say plus and B minus 900, this is equal to zero. And we can say that and B is equal to 900 pounds. Similarly, the we can say that the Mm, average normal stress in the bolt shank is NB divided by the area of the bolt shank. So NB is, we know that this is now 900 pounds. And since we have the cross section area is now a circular cross section, and the diameter of the bolt shank is 0 0.5 inches. So the area will be, we can say the area will be pi r square or we can say pi d square divided by 4. So here since we are given the diameter so we will write that pi divided by 4 d is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 square. So this will give us the average normal stress in the bolt shank. So this is 900 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 square. So this gives me 4584 approximately. So we can say 4584 PSI or we can say 4.6 KSI. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.